there. <laughs> And hey forever! So my props ako ngayon. Hindi ko alam kasi I feel lonely. So, sasamaan niya ako. Hindi <laughs> ko siya lalagay. May nag-text. So yan. Yeah. So for today, we're gonna do a haul. Ta-da! Ito yung napamili natin for the National Bookstore Great Warehouse Sale. Ang ingay niyo! Wait lang! Ang hero palang mag-balance. So, ito yung napamili natin. So, mamaya malalaman nyo kung ano yung mga nag-access natin. But, I have two bags. So, this is the first bag. Tapos, I got the... Ang hirap! I got the second gear. So, I tried to put mga stuff there. Hindi ko alam kung saan tayo magisimula, but kung ano yung madukot natin. Okay, so start na natin. In 3, 2, 1! Okay, so I have two pouches here. Actually, ito, combination ng gray and blue. Tapos this one is all blue lang. Not really sure how much, pero according dito sa ating maiwagang receipt. Okay, so I'm not really sure, pero the other one is 143.40. And the other one is 149. Itong dalawang to ay mga around 150 pesos. Parang konti lang yung naging discount natin, but I really need the pouch. Sometimes I put kasi yung cords for my charges of vlogging and sometimes for work na rin for other peripherals. So I really need to. And then, next thing I bought was these pencils. Ayan. So itong pencils na to, papamigay ko siya sa anak ng aming kasama sa bahay. One set is worth 30 pesos, so 60 siya parehas. There are lots of cute na pencils, coloring materials, and writing instrument. I think yun yung one good thing about this one. And meron tayong isang set of work and save ball pen. Pero this is worth 30.75. Sabi ni ate girl, ah, this is black daw. Pero according to this one, kita nyo ba? Yan. Blue daw. So anyway, hindi ko siya trinay kasi. So tatry ko na lang siya probably later on. Kung okay naman yung tinta niya. But for mga right mga small uh, notes lang, I think this would work. Alongside with that one, Bumili na rin ako ng isa pang work and save na ball pen. This one is blue na talaga. There was no available na black. Usually, I use black ink din naman kasi ginagamit ko kasi ay green pad paper. But since ito na nga lang, I think this could work naman because I have some scratch surfaces naman that I write. I only bought one because I bought three red pens. So if you know what my work is, we really need red pens. And I plan to give out these pens to my workmates because super scarce ng red pen during finals week. We really need these. So magamamigay ko to to my friends. So bawal kumuha ang mga mas maong galay. <laughs> I joke lang. I hope maramin naman to for us. So these are 25. No, so there are 25 pieces in one set. Anyway, so yun. So this is this is like 28.75 each, diba? So grabe sobrang mura na pens to And like sobrang dami pa lang pwede mo makuha. So I'm not really sure if ganon siya kaganda, but I hope maganda siyang pancheck. And then I got several books. So yeah, so isa-isa na lang natin siya. So, this one is um, The Secret Power. So this is by Joyce Mayer. This is originally 795 pesos, but I bought it at around 159 pesos. If you're gonna buy or look for a book, you could look for red stickers. And as far as I can recall, those stuff with red stickers would have an 80% off. Like, the rest without any stickers on it would be 60% off. And those items with an actual price tag would be that price. Na lang. I'm planning to give this to my mom. And then, also this. This is word search. This is 19.75 pesos. There are three items here. So grab it. Wow. This one is oh, it's Best Buy with 99 pesos. But it's even cheaper. And I have seen Sudoku and um, other stuff like this. So yeah, this one. This is Civil Engineering by Nasir Khan. I'm not really sure kung saan. So but sabe I ala oh, interesting lang. Or that I have bought a book about civil engineering and MBS. And this is worth 299 pesos. Aside from this, na nakita na ito. This is a McGraw Hill book. So this is you know, how to design and evaluate research in education. So for me, I like I'm interested really in research nowadays. Although it's fo it's focused on education, I think there are several things there that I could pick up. I think I can relate this to some of the people I work. And I think this is worth this is worth 358 pesos. I think that ends the academic part of a warehouse sale. 
I think last year was a little bit more. But anyway, I'll, I'll talk about that in the latter part of the video. This one, entrepreneurship simplified from idea to IPO. I think this will help me to share some ideas and then how can we convert that to, to something to generate IP. This is worth 254 pesos. The original price was 835. So I'm really interested in to generating IPO. This one, this is really interesting. You could notice yan, why A students work for C students. Basically, I'm just interested on how to try to understand the system. Why does it happen? I think some people would like to consider that and you don't have to be really smart because in the future, you'll just be working for someone who's lower than you in the academic rankings. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. I think we could change it in the, in the future. So it's like what I've been telling people recently. So this is worth, originally this is 685. I bought it for around 137. And then I got this, Managing the Millennials. So discover the core competencies for managing today's workforce. So this is originally 1485. And with the red sticker on, this is only worth 297 pesos. I mean, there are lots of good deals in the National Bookstore Great Warehouse Sale. But I don't care much of the box. <laughs> If you have seen one IG story, I think, before last year, so I told my friends that I really love notebooks without lights. I really like plain paper or cream paper like that. So, guess what? I have bought not just three nor four, OMG, but I bought ten. So I bought 10 notebooks and this is worth, wait, let me check, 37.50. Come on, where else can you buy these kinds of notebooks? And originally this is 189 pesos. And I really know that for a fact because I collect these kinds of notebooks even before. And you can say it's hoarding or so, but I really love doodling or just writing down notes in these plain cream paper. So there you have it. I can't wait to open one, and I think I will. <laughs> Let me open one for the sake of my curiosity if it's really plain cream paper. I really love plain cream paper, by the way. Yay! I got power inside. Oh my, this is heaven for me. Like, this is heaven for me, guys. Oh, 80 sheets. Come on, guys. I got 10. And super love. This is like one of the best things I could find there. But anyway, okay, I think that's it for the haul. How was my experience for the National Bookstore Great Warehouse Sale for 2019? For me, I have been to the National Bookstore Great Warehouse Sale, but not in Mandaluyong, but in Quezon City. What can I say was, um, I think I have told Teren in the video previously, the previous Great Warehouse sale was in Quezon City. The place, I think, almost the same. However, the air conditioning is better. And there are several books there. Also, with respect to the academic books, super damaged than the previous sale. Also, mas organized don. I can see goods in, not in this first team, but at least in an adequate condition and like I could see books like parang crumpled na yung mga pages so I think that's like turn off lang but I think with the selection broader when it comes to the Great Warehouse sale compared to um, the Big Bad Wolf although if you are really into like yung not common mas okay naman yung sa Big Bad Wolf but for me since I look for some technical books and some kind of stuff na din. Mas okay yung sa National Bookstore. I'm not really comparing that because I think hindi naman sila comparable like apples to apples. But almost the same kasi sila nang ino offer. But if you're really looking for um, like folders, like notebooks or pens or any other stuff, like super daming available doon. So it's like almost um, if you're, you're, it's as if you're um, in a National Bookstore and then. Everything is in sale. So you can grab that opportunity. I think when I upload this video, you got a few more days left. So grab a chance. I think it's there until March 31. So I'll post their pop mats here. And I hope that you enjoyed um, your experience, but here are just some few tips. 
Number one, if you're gonna go early, make sure you are hydrated. There are adequate naman na tents for you to be covered, but if you're gonna come like a little late, so like I came around 9:40, so I was in the latter part of the line. So may inat lang when we came, but um by 10 a.m. they let us in already, and dude, medyo may inat din sa loob, so it's like really a warehouse. So it lives to the name warehouse sale. There's adequate ventilation naman. There are industrial fans and some evaporative air conditioners naman. But still, with the lots of people coming in, you still have to wear comfortable clothes. Like don't wear jackets because it's hot. If you can wear shorts, wear shorts. But if you're not comfortable, so you can go jeans. Wear something super like hot na fabric. You can bring mga backpacks then, but make sure secured sa or almost all of your valuables are on your packets and they're like safe there. If you are doubtful of the price, you can ask. But there are counters or designated areas for you to check the prices. But most especially, bring a friend because it's really difficult for you to roam around alone. And of course, look for your belongings. And sometimes, you just need an extra set of eyes for you to check those items that you really want to. Fortunately, I wasn't able to find the mythology. I was planning to buy three for my friends and I can't find one. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I didn't ask if it was sold out already. There are boxes which are which contains um, the items on sale, and they just replenish it depending on I think the amount of the box that were obtained. So I think you can go through those boxes and check if there are valuable items that weren't 